Number one reason for success is people. Focus on things that have high potential. Consequences number one reason for. Failure is people focus on things that have low or no potential consequences. Exactly what Joe was saying earlier though. Famous Drucker quote very worst use of. Time is to uh, work intently on something that need not be done at all in one of the things that is holding back. Entrepreneurs business owners is killing them by the way and it's wiping out an entire generation it's this obsession. With technology I see people that are walking with their phone it's almost like drug addicts that are mainline they cannot stop staring at their screen they cannot stop pushing their buttons though. Fact is that this obsession with looking at the screen and staying connected is killing people because it stops them from focusing you cannot focus if you are distracted like an attention deficit disordered dog so you're constantly ringing and responding to bells almost like a crazy person in a in a toy factory of thinking is the most important thing you do because of the consequences of thinking determine the entire quality of your life then the quality of your thinking determines the quality of your life and so the more time that you spend thinking and thinking well and thinking clearly the how more successful you are over the years I've worked with some very powerful people billionaires and multi-billionaires people who are on the Forbes 400 list repeatedly over and over and I've had a chance to be with them during crises and what times where something was happening that was serious it was a it was a major problem and I Notice that they all had one quality in common is they all went calm people around them were angry and upset and worried about what happened and who did it and so on and they would just go almost like and they knew when I learned later I didn't know why this was I admired it but I didn't know why it was is that when your mind is calm your entire cerebellum the thinking and deciding brain functions at its highest level like turning up all the lights on a dimmer switch it's functioning like a christmas tree but when you get upset and angry what happens is your thinking reverts to your limbic or emotional system and your ability to think clearly diminishes dramatically and you make a lot of mistakes that's why when you are facing a difficult situation you have to use every skill trick game whatever it is stay calm and that's why they teach you to meditate and they find that meditators in business are far more successful because they they can automatically trigger their mind into the calm of meditation when they're facing a crisis it enables them to think with greater clarity the biggest problem that people have is that where they should use slow thinking they use fast thinking and entrepreneurs are extremely guilty of that as we make important decisions that have long potential consequences in turning including affecting the lives of people and costing money and even leading to the bankruptcy of a business we make those decisions with fast thinking when in reality we should be making them with slow thinking i'm a great trucker fan as many people are and mike was saying something about hiring the right people and hiring the right people to work with you is very important and the biggest mistakes you make is hiring fast you hire people quickly the best decisions you make or you really take your time to hire slowly and peter drucker said that fast people decisions are invariably wrong people decisions hiring an important person for an important job has tremendous potential consequences so therefore you need to take a long time the longer that you take to make it important decision the better the decision will be the higher quality decision and lord acton once said when it is not necessary to decide it is necessary not to decide in other words buy as much time as you can for a decision put it off if you can put it off for a day a weekend a week a month put it off some of the best decisions that you make will be decisions that you will allow to steep for a while like Water and teeth so thinking is the most important thing you do we call it.
Thinking fast and slow so remember. Anything that is important that has. Long-term consequences as a candidate. For slow thinking discussing it with. Other people sitting quietly going for a. Walk letting it ruminate in your mind. Sleeping on it you know they say if it's. A big deal sleep on it so the three ways. Of thinking which I start off the first. Way I start off every seminar is what I. Call zero base thinking in everybody. Who knows me for any period of time. Knows that I harp on. Zero based thinking is comes from. Zero based accounting where you instead. Of increasing an expense in the next. Accounting period you ask should we be. Engaging in this expense at all and with. Zero based thinking you look at your. Entire world and you ask this question. Knowing what I now know is there. Anything that I am doing that I would. Not start up again today if I had to do. It over this is one of the greatest. Thinking tools I've ever learned because. In a time of turbulence you always have. An answer for this question each person. Has an answer some people have multiple. Answers there's lots of things that. They're doing today that knowing what. They now know they wouldn't get into. Today they wouldn't start them up. Products they wouldn't offer people they. Wouldn't hire investments they wouldn't. Make and these are the greatest drags in. Life how do you tell if you have a zero. Base thinking situation is whenever you. Experience chronic stress at something. That buzzes around when Joe's talking or. Somebody else is talking you're busy. Thinking about that you drive around and. You think about it keeps you awake at. Night it's something that pisses you off. Something that irritates you and angers. You and frustrates you whenever you have. Chronic which means ongoing continuous. For zero based thinking so you ask. Yourself the question if I was not now. In this situation knowing what I now. Know would I get into it again today if. The answer is no the next question is. How do I get out and how fast how do I. Get out and how fast if ever the answer. Comes back that I would not get into. This again today it's too late too. Resolve it it's over the only question. Now is how long do you suffer how much. Emotional suffering how much financial. Suffering do you make before you walk. And so the most important requirement. For practicing zero based thinking which. A lot of people don't like to practice. Is courage I call it the C word you need. The C word you need to have the courage. To look at every part of your life and. Say is there anything that I'm doing. That knowing what I now know I wouldn't. Get into now the starting point of. Zero based thinking is always with your. Relationships and those are both. Personal and business and many people. Are working their heads off on the. Outside to achieve success but inside. They're frustrated and unhappy because. They're in a situation they're knowing. What they now know they would never get. Into so I call this a quick analysis do. A quick analysis on everything do a. Quick analysis the second area has to do. With every part of your business and I. We're talking about what I think is a. Revolutionary new field though it's not. Revolutionary and it's not new but it's. Business model innovation. And it's based on the concept that. Whatever business model you're using. Today is probably obsolete if you're in. Any kind of a business that uses. Technology to market it especially in. Information based business at. Knowledge based business consulting. Services training anything else chances. Are your businesses obsolete though? Business model is your method here. Step by step process of generating. Profitability now there are some. Companies that struggle a long struggle. Long struggle and then find a new. Business model in the next year that. Businesses up 5 or 10 times profits. Are just overwhelming their living in. Big houses on the hill driving Cadillacs. And flying private jets and you say what. On earth did they do they change their. Business model and if you don't change. Your business model if it's the wrong. Business model two things are going to. Happen your competitors are going to. Come up with a new business model and. Eat your lunch and or you're going to go. Broke so it doesn't mean that your. Business model is wrong it just means. That you must be open to the possibility. 
that your business model is obsolete and that just means that there is a better business model and the only question that you ever ask is does it work does it work does it work if it's not working and then you continue weak at them that's fine if it's not working have the courage to admit this isn't working yet abandon it now the third area has to do with investments in zero based thinking investments of time which people hate to lose someone said earlier that people hate to lose it's one of the greatest emotions we hate to lose time if we've invested a lot of time in a course of action or project a business a relationship the second is his emotion if we put a lot of emotion into a course of action or product course of study a relationship or money we hate to admit that we made a mistake and that would seem like a good idea at the time has turned out not to be a good idea and knowing what i now know i wouldn't get into it and have the courage to cut your losses and run because you can't make any progress unless you clear the decks unless you get this 800 pound gorilla that's holding you back out of your life and everything that you're doing always ask yourself what is the worst possible outcome of this course of action and what and can i survive it if it were to occur and if not what could i do to make sure it doesn't happen one of the number one reasons that we worry about anything in life is because of fear and when you ask yourself what is the worst thing that could happen in this particular situation and then if you could say all right if that happens i'll live with it then your worry goes away and your mind goes clear and calm and now you say now what can i do to make sure that the worst does not happen and then you become proactive and you take charge of your life the third thinking too is called the principle of constraints and it's one of the most important thinking tools ever discovered it says between you and anything that you want to accomplish there's always a constraint a limiting factor or a choke point that sets the speed at which you accomplish your goal and the number one reason for for most people is distraction so they're so distracted they're doing things of low or no consequences 80% of them constraints that are holding you back from achieving your financial goals are within yourself and within your business they are not on the outside they are not the competition they are not the market they are not the people in washington or